G'day mate and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, JD. So last episode episode we we, we got a proper um washroom setup. So a proper bathroom setup with plumbed bath uh, plum the plumbing. Plumbing. I'm gonna say plumbed bathroom, that still doesn't work. Um so we got a proper bathroom setup, which does have a excess of water, which we're now flushing down. Mm, nope, we're not flushing down. This system's still wrong. So, okay, before we go too much further, let's attempt to fix this. So, we can now see that because the system is backed up. Actually, we can see a couple of things. First off, germ overlay. Um, we can see that the liquid pipe coming through here actually has food poisoning germs in it which is running down here, which is being turned into our oxygen. Now, our oxygen is now outputting food poisoning germs. Luckily enough, doesn't affect us in the slightest. Um, you can't breathe food poisoning. You can breathe slow one. It does mean that if it lands on our foods, like this mealwood, and we harvest that mealwood, unless it's sterilized on the way in, it does have a chance that it's still containing germs. And we do have a piece of lice loaf here that has a little bit of germs in it. It's something we will attempt to fix as the game progresses. Um, but right at the moment, it's something we just, we, we really don't possess an easy way of cleaning off those germs. And look, the duplicates have an immune system. They have a way of dealing with these germs over time. It's, it's not too bad, even actually uh, this bit of lice loaf, germs, uh, they're doubling in 20 cycles. So the food will go bad before we end up with, you know, the food will actually expire and go stale before we end up with a situation where we have too many germs on the food. Um, now we need a couple of things. We, we can see that our calories are definitely getting low. It's all lice loaf currently, because our, our lovely shine bugs have wandered all the way up here. So they're not actually helping our bristle blossoms grow, grow anymore. So we need to look at getting a more permanent farm up and running. Um, at the same time, we need to fix this plumbing problem. So let's do this first. So what's actually happening is, because this pipe passes straight through, it's actually getting the priority. We want the exact opposite. So we're gonna deconstruct that. We're gonna run that straight through. We're gonna deconstruct that and deconstruct that, which is gonna give us a couple of little pools of water, which uh, actually, because we've still got instant construct on, we can just clear off magically. My bad, I really don't want that. Um, but we can put that pipe back in and bring that overlay back up. Now you can see we're pulling from here first and this, um, 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 this pipe's now getting second priority. Unfortunately, it is leading to a little bit of confusion in the water pipes. There are ways to fix that. Um, normally the quickest and easiest way is right here, going to plumbing and just putting a liquid bridge so the, pl the the water knows which way to travel. It knows to travel down this pipe. All right, and it can't get confused bouncing back and forth. Um, it's just how the how the plumbing system works at oxygen on the glue. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that off. We're gonna go to research. There's a couple of things we wanna work our way towards. Um, first off, it's really gonna be interior decor an artistic expression because duplicates get a morale bonus from having a nice decor to look at. Um, these are, are both novice researchers, so they're fairly quick and easy to get. Um, in fact, we probably want to knock out all the novice researchers at this point, but this is a fairly important one. So we're going to tick on, click on those and, and start the research process. At the same time, we have a wash basin here. We have plumbing right here. So I want to upgrade this. At the same time, again, I got six, six duplicates with four bathrooms. 
we're definitely going to bring our total up to eight. Um, providing we've got the food and the oxygen. Oxygen we've sort of got. Food, 50-50. Um, but forward planning never hurts. So what I actually want to do is I want to... I'm going to run into a germ problem as well. So I want to dig this out to be the same size as the bathroom above. Uh, hang on. Go back to quick build mode. Same time. I want to knock out an extra row of tiles and give myself an air gap all the way around. Uh, and there goes a lovely hatch. Build that out to there. Build this all the way down. We can knock the town out of there as well. And build that all the way in. Uh, give tubes back access to this room. Deconstruct all these buildings, which is going to leave polluted dirt and all sorts of things on the floor that the dupes now have to deal with and literally duplicate our bathroom from up above. So we want plumbing, I actually don't want medicine. We want a sink there and there. We want plumbing, lav, there, there, there and there. And then a shower there and there. Um, where are we? Plumbing. Same story hook up all our pipes and because pipes have actually no they don't have a deck or, deck or debuff anymore so I can be really really lazy and just hook them up in a straight line there you go they used to have a deck or debuff okay so now we've got our piping set up we want to take from this clean pipe this is the important one um, and actually we want to do that one as well uh, medicine sink so <clears throat> we'll clear out that as well All right. back to our plumbing so we want to take this straight through to here and then we want to liquid bridge it over the top and bring it into the clean water pipes down here and this is the dirty water pipe which, yeah, we can bring that up to there. We can bridge this bridge over the other bridge to make plumbing spaghetti and hook it up to that output. So you'll see clean water, which prioritizes into the, the feedback loop first, will fill this system up before it wanders anywhere else. And these guys should really be on the way out. We want you to wash your hands on the way out. Can I do a copy? No. You don't have copy settings. Um, so, water will flow, it's flow. Water will flow in, fill this system first, and then any excess will pass through the sieve and out to feeding our little oxygen production farm, which, if we can find the right spot, is 12, 13 kilos, it's going up. So let's go with 2.5. Like I said, I, it's going to take a while to get this narrowed in exactly on how much water you want pumping into the system. Okay, um, all right, we want to get rid of that. Uh, there are all the gas things we've found. That's the electrolyzer, which we'll have to come back to. So we need a, a more farming area. We need to be able to produce food faster. Our food is going up, but it's not going up at a rate that I'd, I'd really like to see. I, we really want to be in a situation where we constantly have more and more food coming in um, 
and, and we're constantly putting more and more into storage. It's, it's sort of fairly important at this point that our food re reserves are going up. So first off, we'll look at a duplicate. So we've got a Tinker, a Kindness, a Tinker Farmer. Um, we're really looking for somebody in creativity, somebody in construction, uh, and somebody in digging. Now, these are all things that they can learn. Uh, so you got the bonus to creativity, but you're a slow learner. Because they're a slow learner, they'll always take a very, very, very long time to get those skills bumped up. Far, you know, get those skills bumped up and actually also master um, different jobs. So even though it's a meep, which is always a tradition in, in this series of taking any meep you see, um, because meep's one of the, meep was one of the original duplicates in the very, very early alpha of the game. Um, so we're just gonna reject all and see what comes up in a couple of cycles time. <sighs> okay. So we were saving our blister blossom and a couple of bits of mealwood here because naturally growing mealwood grows slower but doesn't require us to fertilize it with dirt. Now, these are not our only food options. There are other food options and, and we'll get to them as the, as the series progresses. But this episode, I really want to sort of tackle farming a little bit better. So we're going gonna to turn that back on. And we're just going to get rid of all this crap here. And food. Farm tiles again. And we're just going to fill that in. I'm going to copy our settings right the way across there. And our duplicates will still have to place them. Um, but that's given us more room for more farming. At the same time, flooding. Oh, okay. That doesn't help. Uh, H to go back to home. That's off in the depths of the map. It's it's the joys of having debug mode. Half the map gets revealed. So, this will let us pa uh, plant more mealwood. Um, currently, we don't have any surplus. Um, actually, according to this, maybe we have enough to fill all of these. I'm not sure. Because that says zero. Uh, at the same time, we are cultivated soil. So it is something you have to be wary of, at least. Um, each piece of mealwood uses 10 kilos of dirt per cycle. So there is always a chance that eventually, over time, you will run out of dirt. So it is something you have to be keep mindful of. Um, the old outhouses we have had did use dirt in and then had excess polluted dirt that came out that went through a compost heap um, that basically could create dirt for you over time. So, um, I'm going to just turn off our, our cheaty menu for just a minute and we're going to look at some of the new furniture that we've been able to get from the tech tree. So, research. We've completed this one. It gives us a ceiling light, a lamp, and a flower pot. Um, they're all there. Well, ceiling light gives you light. A, a, a normal light gives you normal light, except it comes on a nice pretty stand. Um, they both produce a little bit of heat, which is something you've got to, you've got to keep in mind. And they're actually really, really good for hanging over your bristle blossoms if you can't convince the shine bugs to stay in the correct spot. In saying that, if we cancel that and we go to a blossom seed, blossoms require 20 kilos of water per cycle, which gets really expensive over time. Um, I really don't recommend blossom seeds just because you'll find that very, very quickly you'll run through your water reserves. Oh, that's a thimble reed. Um, so it is something to keep mindful of. Uh, I much prefer using our, our mealwood and then branching out into the next type of food being these mushrooms. So we've got that running. Um, we've got our second bathroom running. Uh, 
really the next thing we need to look at is um, actually it's two things we had to look at one was okay, we've got a manual airlock thrills we've got an airflow tile thrills we've got the electrolyzer which we're going to look at shortly we've got the gas stuff which we're going to look at shortly uh, we have a flower pot which is a single decor item we could pop down somewhere to give a decor bonus as you can see like bathrooms are pretty horrible the fact that i've got crap all over the ground doesn't help um you know batteries are horrible bedrooms aren't great uh, we can improve the bedroom slightly uh, by replacing these tiles um, with real tiles in in saying that there were, we have a lot of crap on the ground as well uh, oxygen still really a big problem and these guys are going flat out we just don't have enough of them so we've got an oxygen problem oh that was the other thing we were going to do we can do a recreational room um, and a recre re recreational room the buff you gain from it is really actually more dependent on what you put in the room so for a while now and i was looking at very very early on we could put in a water cooler which gives you a morale of plus one so i think for ease and hang on don't i need something else uh, i need a decor item as well so because we have this temporary area set up to expand the great hall into what I'm actually going to do is we're going to go to furniture. I'm going to put a water cooler down. And we're going to put in a flower pot. Because a flower pot is actually considered a decor item. Uh, how big can that room be? 64 tops. Well, it's over 64. So we're also going to copy that and put in two doors. Now that should give us a recreational room, which is another little bonus. Um, oh, that was the other thing I wanted to do. No, we want to wash our hands both ways going there. So we have these little pools of polluted water. Now, down here, we're automatically filtering them, so it's not too much of an issue. Uh, yeah, that's gone way up. So down here, we have um, any polluted oxygen that comes off, we're automatically filtering. But up here, right beside our food, we're definitely not automatically f filtering that. So I want to build just a couple of tiles, nothing too major. I want to put a pump in this spot and we're just going to plumb it straight to there. And then we're going to do a bottle emptier. I'm going to rotate this so it empties into this little chamber. At the same time, we're going to hook up the wire. Actually, I should just turn on, turn on the mode and get this all done quickly. Uh, we want just a smidge more gap. Uh, plumbing, pitcher pump. Uh, not pitcher pump, liquid pump. Bit of liquid pipe. Uh, bottle emptier, rotate with some power. Okay, now what we can actually do is this will empty any water bottles we've got laying around. So first off, I actually want to set it to sweep only. Because I only want it to get rid of the ones that we're not... The ones that we want out of the way. And then I'm actually going to say both polluted water and normal water and then we're going to move on to sweep and i'm going to have them sweep like so first off i'm going to have them sweep those ones and then i'm probably going to have them sweep this whole room as well because it's got all sorts of junk in it but just as importantly it's got water bottles now anytime you run clean water into a water sieve um that is clean water with or without germs very much a mute point 
it just passes the water through the system. It doesn't cost you any power. It doesn't cost you any filtration material being sand. It just passes it straight through the system. Um, what we can do is we can empty these bottles, which has a bottle of 200 kilos of polluted water. Pump that straight into the water sieve, which will then obviously clean the water back out. And it can take five kilos in and five kilos out. But more importantly, get the water off our floor. Um, it'll take them a while to get it all dumped in here because it can only accept one bottle at a time. Um, it'll take a little while for it to get pumped out. Not too long, but it will take a little while. Um, but this is what we, it's one of those little things we want to do because we want to clear out any excess water we've got laying around. Um, pick it up off the floors. Down here, it really doesn't matter, as I said, because we're deodorizing it. Uh, but it is something we want to get done. So we've got that farm set up, that farm set up. Calories are going up. Um, we really need to look at the oxygen. Research is finishing up here slowly, which will give us the decor items, which is actually what I want to cover this episode. Just dip that, guys. So let's crank up the speed. Okay. So we've got our decor items. So, we've got a lot of decor items. Um, we have the flower pot, which we popped up here earlier. And if I just throw that in there, in theory, we have a recreational room. Yep. So, when they come use a water cooler, which, by the way, you can actually disable the building that still counts. As far as I know, that might have been patched out. So, maybe don't disable it or disable it and then pay attention. Um... If a duplicate during their downtime, I just did it again. Um, I want to go bedtime. Those three. Bath time. Work time. That's really annoying. And there's not enough air pressure to keep our plant happy. Yeah, we're, we're definitely getting shorter and shorter on atmosphere as time goes along. Which is going to cause our duplicate stress. But we're going to fix that. Um, probably in the next episode. Actually, one thing we can do is we can enable that. Enable that, get that running again. It's, it's as it, it's always good to leave these. Don't deconstruct them. Um, because if you suddenly find you need excess oxygen, you can turn them on fairly easily with a quick undisable. Mm, still looks a little high. We'll see. Uh, where's their schedule up to? So that was their downtime. And nobody bothered to use our, our, our water cooler. Anyway, if they come in here, they have a drink from the water cooler, stand around the water cooler, have a chat, they get another one morale bonus. On top of that, as it, we've got all sorts of decor items. Um, a lot of these are new. How effective they are, who knows. We have a wall plot, pot, which is basically the same as a flower pot, except you need to actually attach it to a wall. Uh, we have a hanging pot, which literally goes absolutely anywhere you want to put it. It just hangs off the background, background layer. Um, we have a, this one you can build out of quite a few things. This one's built out of metal. This one's built out of metal. Remember that. And um, we have a sculpting block, which has a decor of plus five with a radius of four tiles compared to our flower, flower pot, which has a decor of zero. Probably because our plant's not happy. Um... Right, furniture. So, sculpting block has a decent decor with a decent radius. Um, ice block, which we don't have yet because we haven't found ice, or an ice biome, has a decor of plus 20 with a radius of, of 8 tiles. Catch is, you have to keep it in a very, very cold biome. So, just remember that. Uh, we have a pedestal, which is a decor of 5 with 1 radius. You can pop these down anywhere. You could put something on them, being from piece of food to a piece of dirt to, to who knows what and 
as far as I remember from the changelog, because these are brand new, is the deck or bonus, it can have a deck or bonus of plus five with an increased bonus depending on what you put on the pedestal. And in theory, there's meant to be coming soon. Extra stuff you can fight out in space that you can bring back to put on pedestals that have a very, very good deck or bonus. But the one we actually want to get to is uh, crown molding. Now, crown molding and corner molding have no difference in their um, deck or and, uh, and radius values. But if we make them out of sandstone, we get a plus 10%. If we come up to here and go to granite, we actually get a 20% buff. Now, this goes on the roof, and you can see, like, straight here in a bathroom, we can pop that across there. And uh, if I actually just turn on creative mode, and you can see how quickly that can improve a room. And it, it, it's, it's super easy to do. Um, it is something that I recommend very early on. You put everywhere you possibly can, like, you know, duplicate bedrooms. Done. It's a little bit of a bonus, it's not much, but it's very, very easy to do early game. So we're just gonna go pray five, and do that whole room, we've done that room. We're gonna do this room. Uh, that room's done, that room's done, that room's done. We really only wanna do rooms at this stage. We're gonna do our storage, because as you can see, this is a horrible version of red. Um, doesn't help we've got debris on the ground, but let's be honest, it's it's minus 45 with storage bins. Um, so yeah, just just putting down a little bit of crown molding offsets the cost, um, or offsets the the the, the decor negative negativities. Um, so yeah. That's where I'm going to leave this episode. We, we, we've touched on decor. There's obviously a lot more to decor. The dupes obviously have even more things to build now. And this will be a challenge that you'll have also in your own base. That it's very, very easy to give the duplicates a lot of things to do. Um, and the easiest answer is, is to prioritize. Like, you know, if you want all the debris, you, you finish your room, then by all means, sweep it, set to a high priority. And just just so it's done, um, have them clear out a room. You know, if if you leave all the storage bins at priority five, it means as they work down their priority list, when they get to a five, um, hopefully they'll pick up some crap off the ground and go whack it in storage. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is where I'm going to leave it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this this little quick explanation of of the decor bonuses and how they work and when you should think about implementing them. Next episode, we're going to look at much, much better oxygen um, because that's the current thing that's really, really holding us back. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to, to cover the oxygen, well, to be here for the oxygen episode. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.